Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's Steve Cav 5 j -Web. Hope everyone's doing okay out there. I got a new toy last week. Uh, it's called Ham Clock, and my buddy Dan up in Boise got me hooked up on it. Uh, thank you, Dan, for that. Um, really, really a pretty powerful tool. Um, there's a couple of ways you can run this thing. Innovato is one way you can do this on a little Envato box, which is actually a uh, Linux system that you can run it on. What I did, I ran mine in Windows 11, and I'll put some links below on the description on how to do it. It's kind of a involved process, but if you're good with Linux and stuff, it should be pretty easy. But what I wanted to show you today was some of the powerful tools that this thing has. Um, first of all, what I wanted to show you real quick is uh, this is the, the view here that we're looking at. This is my station right here. This is Dan up here at DN13. He's in Boise. And uh, what I did, I put in his uh, his uh, man maiden hand uh, grid number, which is DN13. Mine is Echo Mike 02. And uh, what it does is it kind of gives you a, a probability of uh, propagation. But let me show you a couple of things. First of all, uh, you get UTC time, the date, uh, this is the version right here. Uh, this screen right here rotates, uh, has a couple of options. So a couple of things you can go up here and you can click up here at the top and you can bring up these various options, for example, the Aurora and so forth. But what I'm looking at are two things, the sunspot numbers and the x-ray numbers. And those are uh, readings Charlie and Mike, uh, which actually come from the GOES uh, 16 satellite, which was launched back in 2017. And what these numbers are is, this is the sunspots here, you'll see it toggle back and forth. But I clicked up here, and this is where you can, you can go through and pick up any option. And uh, I have it uh, looking at sunspot numbers and the x-ray numbers. But you can click any of these and change them. Uh, the other screen I have over here, uh, this is pictures of the actual sun, and there are various modes. I, and again, all I did here was just click right here in the center of the screen, and it brings it up. And you can pick, I like to rotate through the various uh, settings here. Not, not too familiar with what these are, but you can see it toggle through these different screens. And some of these are, are, are pretty cool. Uh, again, just get cancel there. But one of the powerful tools is this little guy right here, which is kind of gives you an idea of what propagation looks like. You see the de Delta Echo right there? That's, that's more my location, and that's me right there. And I am... Uh, UTC minus five, but what's nice about this is tonight at at 1600 hours right now on 20 meters, I have propagate. There's a good probability of propagation using five watts and CW. My takeoff angle is three. Not totally familiar with what that is, but that's the default uh, short path, and you can switch to long path if you want to. Long path, short path. Now, what we're looking at here is a probability of making a contact. So right now in CW, uh, five watts, if I click on 20 meters right here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna populate that. And see everything that's green right here? There's a high probability of making a DX contact on CW. And if I wanna go to 30 meter, it will show me that also. And a little bit less. Uh, if I go to 40 meters, it's going to be a little bit less. But what's nice is you can kind of see where you see the green, like at, at uh, 2,000 hours, uh, you have really good probability, even on 17 meters. Like if I want to go to 17 meters right now, uh, there's a good chance I could get on 17 meters and I can make a contact in CW. But the beauty of this is, watch what happens. Say, for example, I want to do a voice contact with Dan. I want to do sideband. So what's the probability? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the mode to 50 watts. Click OK. And then I'm going to change the mode here to sideband. Click right, whoops, click right here. See right there where the CW is. And I'm going to click sideband. And now I'm going to click OK. Now what it's going to do is it's going to update the map in 17 meters, which, as you can see right here, the probability right now is about 40%. Let's go to 20 meters. Probability there is about 40% also. So what you can see here is you can change the mode, the power. Now if I go to, say, 1,000 watts, Let's see what the probability is now. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
with a thousand watts, I could probably make it up to Dan, <laughs> but I don't have a thousand watts, so that's not going to happen. So we'll go back down here to our, let's do a hundred watts, because we can do a hundred watts, see what the probability is. So this kind of gives you a tool that you can kind of look and go, is it even worth turning on the radio? And again, that's about a 40% probability right there. Uh, so we'll go back to our favorite mode, uh, five watts and CW. And again, this is what's pretty cool with CW. Uh, you can get out. Look at that. Good probability of making making it to uh, Boise, Idaho. Again, now these are the Charlie numbers. These are the solar flares. I will put a link in the video uh, uh, below the video where you can actually go look at these real time. Um, these are uh, ratios of magnitude right here. You're looking at Charlie, Mike, X-ray. Uh, this is somewhat of a logarithmic scale that shows you the intensity of the flare. I uh, don't quite understand what's going on here. We got two of them. Uh, they, they refer to one as a Charlie and one as a Mike. Uh, and it looks like the last Charlie flare was, had a value of 3.3. So this kind of activity here can affect uh, radial propagation, particularly sunspots or sun flares. Uh, can disturb radio propagation. Uh, there's our sunspot, sunspot numbers, pretty low right there. But if I click right here while it's in the sunspot screen, it will actually give me the whole thing right there. So let's go ahead and clear this. Now we're going to return the screen back to normal. Now let's say, for example, uh, if you notice how I'm hovering over here, it kind of gives you the... Uh, uh, location, the temperature, and so forth, uh, and the distance. Let's say, for example, if I wanted to try to make a contact over in, uh, let's say, Australia. I can click on Australia right here, and I can set this to, I can click uh, set to DX, and when I do that, watch what's going to happen. It's going to give me the path for me. It looks like it wants to go this direction here. And I could go this direction also. And so that's propagation's not very good in Australia right now. Let's say if I wanted to go to Europe, for example, I would click here, set DX. Notice what happens down here in the lower part of the screen. It's going to update with the new settings. There's the new route right there. Not much, not much going on right there. Not, not a real high probability of getting into um, Europe right now. But if I go back here, what I can do, for example, if I know a grid square, I can just click right here, and I can enter the grid square. Uh, let's see, I can enter. Uh, uh, Dan's grid square is Delta Mike 13. I believe that's him. It should put us back over in. Nope, that's wrong. I don't have the wrong, uh, the wrong one. So let me look. What is his Delta November 13? November 13. We appreciate Mike getting me set up on this. This he's a, he's an awesome guy. Uh, okay, good deal. Uh, all right, that looks good. That looks real good. Yeah, that looks real good there. So, okay. So again, now also this is rotating here. It shows the temperature, current temperature at the DX location. You see how it's green right there? And of course, now we're looking at sunspots again. So again, this is rotating through. Um, there's a lot of videos on this, but I, the main thing I wanted to focus in on is this guy right here. Because with, uh, with this propagation, with this going on right here, um, it, it's, it's, it's a powerful tool because we can go through and, and again, if I wanted to try to make a contact in New York, for example, or in the Northeast, I would click here, set DX, and click OK. And there again, there's the location, the uh, weather conditions. Uh, pretty good probability there. We'll go back over and put uh, Delta Mike 13 in. Delta mic 13, and we'll do that right there. All right, back, oops, Delta November 13. Be nice if I didn't, wasn't paying attention there. So the main thing I just wanted to show you guys, I'm not a Linux uh, expert here, but what I wanted to show you was, um, this is a tool called Ham Clock, and there's many ways to go about getting this, but it is a very powerful tool because this right here is really what's powerful about it. I can look 
And at like tonight at 8 o'clock, I'm going to have propagation on 17 meter, and I'm going to have it on 20 meter. And if I wait till maybe midnight, I'll have propagation on 40 meters. And at 4 a.m. in the morning, I'll have propagation on the, the higher bands or lower frequency. So again, this is the clock right here. And uh, right now, it's about... Uh, it's about 1600 hours here so right here is where you're looking at right here and at eight o'clock tonight i can see so the beauty of this is i can go turn on the radio tonight and go to 17 meters and or 20 meters and look uh, but the main thing is just want to show you you can toggle between power and mode and those two things right there so let me make one more demonstration on 20 meter 5w 5 watt cw Right now, good probability of making it in there. 17 meters, good probability also. So the beauty of this is, looking at this, you can see exactly what's going on. And let's look at 80 meters, for example. 80 meters is going to be pretty much dead right now because there's just nothing going on. The sun's still going on, so it'll it'll get more active at night. These are spotters over here. You'll see these different spotters. When you see a spotter over here, This these are the different bands uh, that show some activity. Um, and again, when you want to clear this, just click this here. Uh, but again, there's a million videos on this. The main thing I wanted to show you was um, the sunspot numbers, how to change these. You click here. Uh, you click anywhere on here. You can make your settings. You can click anywhere uh, over here if you want to. I like this VOACAP. Oops. Deselect that for a second. That's 10 me 10 meters is dead right now, as you can see. Um, you can pick a VOACP. This is some kind of prediction tool. I don't know the expert. I'm not an expert on it, but I, I love this because I can sit here, turn this thing on, and see if I have any probability of making contacts and so forth. So anyway, just want to share this with you. I will put some links down in the video about how to get ham clock, but um, it really is awesome. Um, there's several ways to do it. Like I said, I did mine through Windows 11. I'm actually running this on a Windows 11 computer on an extended display. I have mounted above the ham, ham station or whatever. And uh, But there's ways. In, in Novato has a, a way that you can actually purchase a, a device for about 50 bucks, and you can uh, set it up on your Wi-Fi. And I think it's pretty much self-explanatory. So anyway, hope you enjoy the video. 73 from KI5JUF. Okay, thanks again.